Hello, and welcome to Bay College's video lectures for Math 085. We're going to look at section 2.9 and 2.10 in this, which is operations on mixed numbers. 2.9 concentrates on multiplication and division of mixed numbers, and 2.10 is addition and subtraction. There will be a follow-up video to this, which is the application of these operations on mixed numbers. So the first thing we're going to look at is multiplying and dividing of mixed numbers. And when it comes to multiplying or dividing, what we always want to do is change that mixed number into an improper fraction. And if we recall from the last video, if we're going to do some multiplication here, we need to write this as an improper fraction. And to do that, we go the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder, if we remember that division algorithm. And I like to show a little arrow. I'm going 4 times 5, and then I'm going to add 1. So I'm going to rewrite the problem. I have 5 ninths times 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21 over the divisor of 5. Now from this point, well, we've worked with multiplying fractions before. So we can simply reduce, or we could multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators, and then reduce. But I'm going to reduce here. I have a 5 over a 5. Anything over itself is 1. And I recognize that 9 and 21 have a common factor. 3 goes into both of these numbers. Now that I've reduced it, I have 1 times 7, which is just 7. And I have 3 times 1, which is just 3. Now, if I'm asked to leave my answer as an improper fraction. There it is. But if we recall in the previous video, sometimes we're asked to write our answer as a mixed number. So I can actually do the division. 3 goes into 7 twice with a remainder of 1. That remainder remains to be divided by our divisor. So I put the remainder over the divisor. 2 and 1 third is the same thing as 7 thirds. When we look at division, well, if we recall, in order to divide by a fraction, we have to multiply by its reciprocal. Well, to find the reciprocal of this, we have to write it as a mixed number. So I'm going to do that. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So when I rewrite this, I get 5 divided by 15 fourths. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 is 15 over 4. Now that it's division by a fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal 5 times 4 fifteenths. And again, this would be a review of multiplying fractions. We can think of this as 5 over 1. And we can reduce 5 and 15, have a, that common factor of 5. And if we look at this, I have 1 over 1, which is just 1. 1 times 4 over 3, we get 4 thirds. What if we're asked something like this? It says, find 2 sevenths of 56. Well, we have to remember our terminology. Of tells us to multiply. So I'm going to multiply 2 sevenths times 56. And I'll write that 2 sevenths times 56. Once again, we can think of this whole number as being a fraction if we write it over 1. And now I could multiply across the top multiply across the bottom, and then reduce. But I see that 7 does divide 56 8 times. They have that common factor of 7. And now my denominators are 1. 1 times 1 is just 1. Anything over 1 is itself. 2 times 8 is 16. All right, let's look at where we might see some applications of multiplying mixed numbers. And where we might see them is area and volume. Because when it comes to finding an area or a volume, we take measurements. And when we take measurements, whether it be miles or feet or meters, sometimes we write them as mixed numbers. Maybe I drive 2 and a half miles and then take a right. And I go another 6 and a half miles. Well, here we have mixed numbers. So when we're discussing distance, maybe we're finding the area of a rectangle. Now, this is a formula we've seen before. And hopefully, we're, we have this committed to memory. The area is the length times the width. And we abbreviate that L and W. And it, we always remember, area gives us squared units. Maybe it's inches squared, or miles squared, or we'd say square miles. 
area of a triangle. We've seen this formula. Hopefully, you've committed it to memory. Uh, please do so if, if you're a little rusty with it. But we have the area equals 1 half the base times the height. And just as a refresher, if we have a triangle, this is the base and this is the height. So we'd multiply the base times the height and then take half of it. Again, it's area, so we have to remember the units are squared. Now, for this math 085, this might be new. And it's finding the volume. Volume has length, width, and height. It's three dimensions, not just a flat area. We have volume of a rectangular solid is described as the volume equals the length times the width times the height. So we have three dimensions, like a box. Three dimensions, well, that talks about cube units. We have a length times a width times a height. That would be a unit times a unit times a unit a unit to the third power, cubed units. We recall we use cubed as the word for being raised to the third power. Now, this next uh, example is where we might see this. It says, find the volume of a rectangular box with dimensions of 9 and 2 fifths inches by 3 and 1 third inches by 6 inches. Well, <clears throat> these three dimensions, the 9 and 2 fifths, the 3 and 1 third, and the 6, are the dimensions of a rectangular solid. A box is a rectangular solid. So to find its volume, I'm going to multiply length times width times height. Now, it doesn't denote which is which. We just have to have all three dimensions. So I'm going to have 9 and 2 fifths times 3 and 1 third times 6. Now, because it's multiplication, we don't have to worry about a common denominator. All we have to do is multiply them together. And as we've seen in the previous example, in order to multiply or divide mixed numbers, we write them as improper fractions. So 9 times 5 is 45, plus 2 is 47. And then we have 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 10 thirds, and 6. Well, we can think of that 6 as being over 1. And now I'm ready to multiply. But before I do, I'm going to reduce. Because it's all multiplication and division, I can reduce common factors. So I say the 5 and the 10 can reduce. The 3 and the 6 can reduce. And now all of my denominators are 1. So that makes life a little easier. So I'm going to say 47 times 2 is going to be 94. 94 times 2 is 188. Now, because this is an application problem, we want to remember units. Volume has cubed units. My units were inches. So I'm going to write inches squared. Or I could have written uh, squared inches. I prefer this notation because it's a little shorter to write, as you can see. But they mean the exact same thing.